<laughs> this is too much fun. Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Fu. Last time, well, we explored more of the precinct. It's pretty much the same as... Oh, we can't go in here yet until we get the right key. It's pretty much the same as Leon's story. So, just some enemies were not where they usually were. And I figured out, I found out that I can make Claire a ghost. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Anyway. Okay. It, was, it wasn't showing the screen at first. I'm like, is there something going on? You gonna tell me, game? Or are you just gonna surprise me? Again, I'm expecting tall, dark, and... Shaven. I mean, it, he doesn't have any hair, so I'll call him that to be on the other side. Uh, let's see. Can we just go through this door? Yeah, okay, I don't want to do the gem puzzle yet, because I know, I know, well, where that one is. Don't need to, f I still need to find the other one. Aha! We get to meet up with Leon in just a minute, because this is the star's quarters. Can't remember if he's just in here, if we have to check everything first. Ah, there he is. Leon. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. All right, Chris's diary. Oh, he keeps a diary. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted the T-virus research in that mansion. The entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. Looks like I'm running out of options. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they already done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Okay. I know we read that already, but still. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. You know, I, I might have found a survivor, but... I didn't exactly rescue her. Ooh, a bowgun. Yes, please. That's fantastic. I didn't even mean to open that. <laughs> Jeez. I don't need any of the crap that Leon took as far as, like, the pack to uh, carry more stuff. Well, I would like that, but... Oh, I thought we could get a health item from the pack. From Rebecca's pack. Guess not. Oh, well. Can we talk to you again, Leon? That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Yeah. I, I get that. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think we actually used the radio, did we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I know Jill's boyfriend or whatever. Ah! So this is Chris's desk, I believe, if I remember correctly. So that means he was part of the same biker gang or whatever as she was before, well, he became a cop. <laughs> That's kind of nifty. 
Well, I wouldn't have. I, I never would have noticed it, uh. <laughs> without. Yeah, I know, this is probably Barry's desk. Does so he have talking fish? Can we get it to sing, uh. I don't know. Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman who I like to me. Pretty woman. Marksman contest winner, Chris Redfield. Aw, oh, brother, you did so well. You kind of sucked in the marksman uh, category when we were in the mansion, but you did so well this time. I I'm just thoroughly checking to see if there's anything left. Oh, this is new. I think. I don't remember that happening last time. Unless I just missed it because I looked away or something. Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your record... Blah, blah, blah. I will start talking correctly for this one. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. 1. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Incorporation. So far, it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. 2. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Inc Incorporated. They say incorporation earlier. <laughs> Over the last five years, he was apparently involved in the cover-up of the mansion lab case, along with several other incidents which, in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released to, due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Okay, so two things. First of all, how the hell did he become police chief if he was even accused of rape? And second of all, do we have to fight this Joker? I hope not. This slime ball, this this scum of the earth. <laughs> Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Uh, this 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 bane of humanity. <laughs> that way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Okay, I guess you have nothing to say about what I just found. I'm trying to remember to that same scene with uh with Claire. I don't remember that showing up. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Hello. I will. Just give me a second. I need to get out the bow gun. Press R1. Press X. And you know, that's that's uh, actually it. Is that it? One hit kill. Oh my god, that is fantastic. That was worth it. I wanted to check that out. Where'd you go? Don't start running off. Don't you know this is, this police precinct is filled with zombies? This is the worst idea that you could have had. Like, you can see that I have on me a knife, at least. What do you have? Nothing. <laughs> Your little girl. Various rounds can be used. The cut stock causes a greater recoil made in the USA. Well, let's check this out because we have three zombies here. Really? 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 I am disappointed. 
that was the perfect time to use the grenade launcher. And the only reason it didn't work was either because they were down feasting or because this isn't actually used against enemies. There we go. That's much better. That actually did something. Jeez. Oh, cool. The crossbow can take out multiple enemies. That would have been nice if the grenade launcher had been able to take out multiple enemies. Jesus Christ. Am I going to catch fire if I go on those burning heaps of unfair? Now this information looks useful. I'll say. Oh, no. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Can we just... Maybe we gotta get something from here, right? Oh, no. There's a hole in the bottom of the door. The door is nailed shut. Look, doesn't look like I can pass through here. Thank you. Thank you. There was a hole in the bottom of the door, so I was afraid that kid went in there. I don't care. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> especially now that I know that there's an enemy actively tracking me already, I especially don't want to go in there. Yes, I'll use the lockpick. Let's see what's in there. Uh, oh, handgun bullets. I was like, I have no idea what that is. That doesn't look like anything I've seen so far. I know I should probably go to a storage crate and drop some of this off, but there's a little girl, man. A little girl that needs my help. Oh, oh. Oh. I was afraid it was something important. Oh. <laughs> like a guy falling from the ceiling or something. No, it's just the shutters. I don't ever have to go back to that room again, that hallway. Yes, I can't carry more items. I guess maybe I should find a storage crate. I can't remember if there was anything here. Company data files primarily on Umbrella Inc. Let's just go through the bottom door. Doesn't this lead straight to, uh... The lobby. Indeed, it does. Aha! You missed me. <laughs> that was kind of funny. It was almost like a prat fall. Again, sorry for being a little quiet, but I'm dealing with enemies that could do quite a bit of damage to me because I'm Claire. I think they're both dead. Yep, it looks like it. Cool. Uh, they're not. <laughs> Why? Were there just three zombies just hanging out there? Seems kind of, uh, a little bit silly. <laughs> well, I can run around them all, so... Probably protecting something. I've got stuff to drop off. I'm going to take care of that first. <laughs> Alright, so first things first. Let's drop off the knife and let's drop off uh, those acid rounds. Because I feel like we don't need those quite yet. I feel like it's probably a good idea to hold on to them. Which way are we going? We don't want to go the way I just almost went. That's right, we want to go this way. Because if we went the way I just almost went, we'd run into zombies. <laughs> that is the best logic for not going away, because we will run into zombies. I'm going to run into zombies no matter which way I go. <laughs> Knife, get out of here. Acid rounds, get out of here. We're all set now. So let's see. We've got the bookcase puzzle, which I know how to solve. 
and we didn't run across Sherry yet. I know that's her name. I've, uh, read the manual, like I said. I know that sh her name is Sherry. <laughs> I believe it's Sherry. Also, I mean, we saw, we saw her in the end of, uh, the end of Leon's story, so it's not like it's a big spoiler that she exists. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not a big spoiler anymore. I just don't know anything about her except, well... I do know something about her. I know that, or at least based on what they were saying in the manual, that she's Annette's daughter. I think? I don't know. Anyway, let's go blow up that wall. <laughs> I think we'll call it another episode. Probably a good idea. We're kind of going a bit late. Uh, right here. Door is broken. I can't go any further. No choice but to take out the wall. Aw, oh, yeah. Probably should step back. God damn it! 